Hello, my name is Maline Theodore, and I work at the Yale University Art Gallery, a museum founded in 1832 with a global collection of art. In my role as Associate Curator of Programs, I think a lot about our multiple audiences, who they are, and the ways they engage and exchange knowledge. I also think about the communities that surround the gallery, the university, the city of New Haven, and beyond. In the summer of 2015, two colleagues and I investigated ideas of audience through participatory pop-up studio programs on the sidewalk outside the museum. In crafting this series, I was particularly interested in a kind of everyday programming, that is, how the gallery is or could be part of the daily rituals that shape our community. Working with students from the School of Art, we devised a series of sidewalk studios, each focused on a single medium. Passersby of all ages were invited to make paper, for example, or to draw a map of their day at a table outside the gallery. The pace of each activity offered us time to talk with participants and to invite people to enter the gallery. Most basically, our conversations allowed us to find out if people knew about the gallery as a space and a resource. Not everyone did, a reminder that even at an institution free and open to the public, like the gallery, barriers to entry exist. For each studio program, working with the artists, the public programs team, and our graphic designer, we distributed postcards with an image of a work from the collection on one side and a prompt on the other. We designed these postcards to bridge the activity outside with the collection inside, and to offer visitors a point of entry to a vast collection that might inspire close looking. The postcard for a collaborative printmaking studio was paired with an image of Katrina footprint with the following text. In this abstract work, Howardina Pendel uses arrows in a swirling formation to evoke the path of a hurricane. As you move through the galleries, notice how artists use patterns and repetition to create meaning. We also produced a comment card with the words, the gallery is dot dot dot, and invited the community to fill in the blank. Most of the feedback we receive is from visitors who already have a relationship with the museum. This card allowed us to hear from a broader range of people in their own words, and it turned out in pictures, how they thought of the gallery. Each summer since, with a two-year COVID-related hiatus, we have returned to the Sidewalk Studio series, broadening the program to include collaborating artists from across New Haven. On the sidewalk, we have done printmaking, screen printing, a green screen photo project, a jazz bike and sketching program, a drawing exercise, a photo assignment, and more. And inside the gallery, equipped with a postcard and a prompt, we have invited visitors to consider perspective, the use of light, the presence of biography, texture and surface, and the relationship between colors. The experience of Sidewalk Studio has inspired me to think more about the reciprocal relationship between the gallery and the public with participatory programs that challenge, inspire, and shape our community. In the words of one partner artist, Julia Rooney, It's been wonderful to see people's curiosity sparked as they pass Sidewalk Studio. Some people have merely asked questions about the activity and kept moving, while others dove straight into it. In either scenario, I feel like this program is successful because it brings art making out into the open and shows it to be a process that anyone can try regardless of experience. And then taking that energy of experimentation into the galleries or just into the rest of one's day is very powerful. Thanks to everyone who's contributed to the series, and I look forward to more Sidewalk Studios in future summers.